بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اکیڈمی وی آر ڈسکسنگ دا انالیسز آف دی ایڈزاپشن ڈیٹا سو وی آلریڈی کمپلیٹیڈ سم ویڈیوز آن فرسٹ آرڈر سیکنڈ آرڈر سوڈو سیکنڈ آرڈر کائنیٹک ماڈل ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ سوڈو فرسٹ آرڈر کائنیٹک ماڈل وی ول یوز دا سیم ڈیٹا وچ وی آلریڈی یوزڈ فار ڈفرنٹ آرڈر آف ریئیکشنز وی نو دا اکویشن دا سوڈو فرسٹ آرڈر کائنیٹک ماڈل از لان کیو ای مائنس کیو ٹی از ایکول ٹو لان کیو ای مائنس کے ون ٹی وی ول پلاٹ لان کیو ای مائنس کیو ٹی ورسز ٹائم اینڈ فرام ہیئر وی ول کیلکولیٹ دی سلوپ اینڈ دی انٹرسیپٹ وی ہیو دا اکویشن وائی از ایکول ٹو ایم ایکس پلس سی ویئر ایم از آور سلوپ اینڈ سی از آور انٹرسیپٹ سو لان کیو ای از آور انٹرسیپٹ وائل مائنس کے ون از آور سلوپ سو فرام ہیئر ویل کیلکولیٹ دا سلوپ اینڈ دی انٹرسیپٹ ویلیوز اینڈ فرام دیئر وی ول کیلکولیٹ لان کیو ای فرام دا انٹرسیپٹ اینڈ مائنس کے ون فرام دا سلوپ سو آور سلوپ ول بی ایکول ٹو مائنس کے ون وائل آور انٹرسیپٹ ول بی ایکول ٹو اینٹی لان آف کیو ای اینٹی لان آف دی انٹرسیپٹ سو وی ہیو دس ڈیٹا فار وچ وی ہیو کیلکولیٹڈ دا کیو ای ناؤ وی آر آلریڈی یوزنگ تھرٹی پی پی ایم آف آور پولوٹن کنسنٹریشن ڈائی کنسنٹریشن اور آور metal metal ion concentration or some drug so the optimum concentration we will use to find out ln qe minus qt for calculating qe we have the formula initial concentration minus concentration at equilibrium multiplied by volume divided by divided by mass mass of the adsorbent and same will go with the qt so we calculated the qe through this formula qe is equal to c not minus ce divided by weight multiplied by volume or weight and volume are the same or mass and volume are same during all the experiment so we will take it as 1 and qe will be equal to c not minus ce then we get the 30 ppm optimum concentration the 30 ppm optimum concentration and then use this concentration at different time in interval for example over here we did the experiment up to 120 minute so we have ct data or concentration at time at 0 to 120 minutes then we calculated qt let's calculate it here qt qt is equal to c not c not minus ct multiplied by volume which is 60 ml divided by mass which is also 60 mg or 0.06 liter divided by 0.06 grams so this qt these two values we will lock by putting dollar sign before and after the column this will lock the these two values and drag the formula till the end so we get the qe value then we already calculated our qe value which is 19.238 over here so we will just put this value over here and drag it till 120 minute now we have qe minus qt this is our qe value minus qt value and drag this value till the end 
then we'll calculate the ln of QE minus QT is equal to natural log of this value and drag it till the end. So this is our ln QE minus QT value. Now our plot will be ln QE minus QT versus time. So we'll copy these two values. We'll copy these two values over here and all these values into the origin. Now we will make a scatter plot of these values. This is a scatter plot. We'll go to the analysis section. Then we'll make a linear fit of this data. So by linear fitting, so by linear fit, we got the values of slope and intercept. Let me copy this table to Excel. So we have the values of intercept and slope. So our intercept value is this one. And we will copy our slope value. We'll copy our slope value. Now we can calculate the QE calculated value, K1 value, and R square value. Adjusted R square is this one. So we'll copy this over here. This is our adjusted R square value. Now we have to calculate QE and K1 value. As our intercept is equal to ln QE, while our QE will be equal to anti ln of the intercept. So anti for anti ln of the intercept, EXP of the intercept. So this is our calculated QE value, while our ex experimental QE value was 19.238. And this is our calculated. K1 is equal to, from the equation as we know that, our slope is equal to minus KT. Minus KT. So our K1 will be equal to minus slope. So this will be equal to, ABS to convert it to the neutral value as it is in minus. So ABS of the slope. So our K1 value is 0.027. Our QE value is 28.113. So over here, we know that from this equation, we calculate our QE calculated and the K1 value. Hopefully now you understand how to calculate, how to fit the data into the pseudo first order kinetic model. We have R square value, we have K1, we have, we got the QE value. Now come to the graph and make it a presentable graph. So, This is our pseudo first order. Kinetic model. Pseudo first order kinetic model. This is our 
linear fit we can change these we can increase its size to let's see 12 and we can also increase its size to 3 we can play with it to make it a presentable data this is time in minutes so you can copy this data into your word file or your thesis wherever you want so this is your first order kinetic model thank you very much don't forget to comment subscribe and like the video please share it with your colleagues and your students to get maximum of it and if there is any mistake during calculation or during interpretation of the equation any other of my videos please let me know so i can update that mistake thank you and allah hafiz